This is Edwin, and this is Daniel's diary. How do you conclude a lesson or a topic? Are you aware that the way you end a topic is very important? If you end a topic in a good way, it helps to boost the understanding of students. However, if you end a topic in a very bad way, it creates confusion and misunderstanding in the minds of the students. Therefore, the way you end a topic or a lesson is very important. There are two ways to end a lesson. The very first one is for you to elicit from students about the understanding of the topic. And to do this, you have to ask basic questions like, what can you tell me about the lessons? How do you feel about the lesson or topic? When you ask open-ended questions like this, it gives students the opportunity to express themselves and tell you genuinely how they feel about the topic. And when students are open to tell you how they feel about the topic, you, the teacher, you are able to see where they have problems or you are able to see how well they understand the topic. So always make sure that at the end of your lesson or classes, you give students the opportunity to express themselves. So it's very important. Always let them speak. And after you must have elicited the understanding of the topic, you have to test this. You can't just take their words to be gospel truth. No. Because if you do that, you might be misleading yourself. Because the students may tell lies just because they want to rush and go home. So you have to be able to test to actually see if what they say is true. Sometimes we do not have enough time to test the understanding of the students. Don't just go and forget about the topic. No. Always make up time to come back to that topic and test to see if they actually understand. And there are two ways, again, in which you can test the understanding of students. One is by exercise. You can give exercise either in groups or as individual work and you make out time for them to complete these exercises in the classroom or exercise in the classroom. It depends. You may give more than one exercise. Or if you want to allow the students to feel free, take out time to complete work at home, then you can give this exercise in the form of homework. When they go home, they will sit and spend time on it. And in your next class, make sure you collect the books of students or the work. Go through it. Make corrections. From the marking, you will be able to tell if your students truly understand the topic that you've taught. Remember, every lesson has three sections. Introduction or warm-up. The body, which is a lesson proper, and conclusion. All these three sections must be handled with care in order to prosper understanding in the classroom. I hope this helps and see you next time. Ciao!